Hi everyone, welcome to the first After Effect tutorial. I am not a professional, I want to share my experience with what I have already learned. First, you need to remember the following key combinations. I will additionally leave them in the description. You need to know them. Then I will advise you quite important two programs. Their name will also be in the description. This is a player that allows you to watch video materials of any format, has a choice of audio and subtitles, and also has a built-in hack encoder. What is MKV format? Honestly, files with this format contain several audio tracks and several subtitles after effect cannot divide this file into several tracks therefore it does not perceive for this there is an ts mux or gi this application will allow you to remove subtitles from anime or remove voice acting leaving only japanese voice acting you need to create a composition and adjust the quality you need here are some examples of parameters for standard quality and quality for higher performance pc this is a list of plugins that you will need If you work with anime, then you should put 23 976 FPS. This is the standard of animation studios. And it is not advisable to set a higher or lower value in order to avoid deformation of frames and effects superimposed on them. This number will help to work with the Twixter, which will give a very smooth result. Then, you can set the desired time and create a composition. The interface looks loaded, but do not be alarmed. It is much easier than you think. All effects and presets are stored here. Here is the setting for the preview screen. The panel were the settings of the effects that you have already applied on the layer. Add a song, open its graph, and put markers in the places you need. If you want to shrink the unnecessary area, you need to drag the timeline and click transform to the entire work area. These values will also change in the composition itself. Add anime. To align the scaling press shift. This function is very useful with this key you can precisely navigate between markers. Or select several layers at once. How to cut a layer. Control Shift D. And for more convenience, you can enter the video layer by clicking on it. Which makes it easier to find and select a moment. After trimming the moments, you should create a pre-composition. Pre-composition is a very important property. It can scale the boundaries of the material to the entire working area. This will help to create another composition inside the main composition and work in a separate place with one of the video moments separately. All transformations take place in the transform. How to work with effects further. Most of the transformations work through keys. With the help of keys you can customize almost everything. Here the scale, rotation, transparency. You can turn on the 3D function, which will give more functions and abilities of 3D animation. I will create a random animation for the demo. As I said, everything works through keys. After animation you can enable motion blur which will give a smoother result. To see the keys on a layer, you need to press U. The animation looks very sharp. After pressing F9, your keys will have a graph setting. While they are in standard form, you can advance them as you wish but after converting to F9, if you want to move the marker, you must hold down ALT so that the graph between them is not deformed. How to use effects. For them, you need to create a separate layer. You can also add them to a layer or compose, but this effect will only work within them. How to add black bars. Create a black layer at CC Jaws to it, and raise the layer above all layers. Then put values like mine. You can also animate them with keys. This is where the first lesson comes to an end. If I help you, I will be grateful if you are active, and share this video. Wait for the continuation, I have more to tell you.